G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alf 19, we're about to continue our Eclipse series into Day 50, we have just made it through the Blood Moon Horde, not particularly well, most of my base has definitely seen some better days, I'm gonna need to upgrade these little things down here up to steel, or most of this actually to steel, that is the weak point, they break any of these blocks here, and it's all over whatever color rover you may be, so I'm gonna make sure I upgrade all of those, and do some more renovations to the base, but that is gonna have to wait, because as I was talking about in the last episode, it is now Trady Potato Day, and I have... Well, the, the the loot, the reward for finishing the horde is done. And I'm holding that in my hot little hand. So I'll get back upstairs. Oh, I should go grab all my normal stuff. My normal loadout is still in the horde base. So I'll go and grab that real quick. I'm going to go upstairs, grab the rest of the stuff to go and sell. And go and spend all the money that I possibly can on anything that I can. There is no room for error anymore. I need to make sure that if I find something that's even mildly convenient or useful to me, I need to buy it on the spot. Because otherwise... Well, I'm basically just going to forfeit my life the next time anything bad happens to me. That all goes like that. I have some 9mm. I have some regular 44. Um, dollar redos. Dollar redos can go there. What else do I normally run on my normal loadouts? I normally take everything with me and I'm missing something right now. What is it? What am I missing here? Ah, oh, it was the lock picks. There we go. Okay, so that's my normal loadout of eight. I've got the $10,000 redos there. So I don't break my ankles anytime soon. Let's get back upstairs. Even though you can hear the turrets whirring away up the top, it doesn't mean they're actually on. I have turned off the battery bank. I did that like when the horde was still rocking and rolling. It's already 7 a.m. I've got lots of stuff I want to do. So I need to see all three traders today. All three of them need to see Trader, uh, what, Trader Joel, Trader Jen, and whatever the other, was it Trader Bill? I don't know who the Trader down to the south is, but all three of them need to be seen today. Not only to sell to, but also to buy from. I need ammo, I need ammo making materials, I need all that good stuff. You go into there. All the stuff needs to go away. I'll come back for another time. Take whatever I can, repair it up, fill it with the mods that I can. Then we can go make as many dollar redos as we can. It's usually a pretty good system, unless I bin it somehow, which isn't completely unlikely. I'm going to try and go about this a slightly different way to how I normally do. I've got all the mods that I'm willing to part with in my hand already. I don't have any clubs, so I can put the uh, the the chain mod away. because I can't actually go on anything else. So all the tier 6 stuff, you and you, you as well. Anything that's tier 6 got that purpley goodness that can take mods, I'm going to take to try and get some extra dollars out of. Maybe the tier 5 as well, because it's probably not a bad idea. It's simply worth a little bit of coin, but we'll start with the tier 6s. Modify you, you can have that one. And that's really it? Oh shit, I've still got like... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go modify you, put you into that one, and then I need to go get my weighted head mod to make you, or make a new weighted head mod, I suppose, to make you even a little bit better. Because after all, I put both those mods into Sammy downstairs, who did a good job, but he's now dead, and I don't have the mods on me anymore. Turns out I really don't have as many spots as I hope to slide some mods into things, so instead, I'll just take what I can and repair what I can, get as many dollar reduces as I can out of those ones, take the rest of you. I might just take all of it and try and repair what I can and sell everything that I possibly can when I get there. I've been holding on to you for so freaking long, I'm just gonna scrap you. I'm sick of you. You're not actually doing anything for me. Just taking up space, so in you go like that. When I get those materials back, I should... Actually, I'm kind of full at the moment, so this makes me space like that. In you go. Nice. Okay, I'll go load up the gyrocopter with this stuff. It's already 9am, and I know that it takes a fair whack of time to get about to all the traded potatoes. So, so much... Oh my god, everything's still in here. My money's still in there. I'll take you out of there. I can't take you out of there at the moment, so let's go everything in. Take you back and put you in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, you're already locked in. Nice. I mean, look, I'm going to try and make as much money as I can so I can spend it all on trying to survive. If I could just survive by being rich, I'd be okay. I think I'm all good and ready to go. Let's just do... Oh, you're all nice and grown as well. All grown out to be nice big boys. Quickly grab you. I can't grab you real quick. Grab that one and slot you into this one just like that. Doesn't matter what mods go in there as long as I have some mods to make it just that little bit better. Take you back again. I think I'm all pretty good. In you go. Nothing left over. No, nothing there. Some sand and stuff in that one, which I'm always a fan of. But unfortunately, Santa hats don't particularly protect you from anything other than elves. But it's only because they're nice and short and can't reach your earlobes. No, nah, nothing in there I want to take. I think we're good. Nice. All right. Let's go. Let's get cracking. I've got more stuff in my gyrocopter upstairs already. 
Oh, please make this go quick. So when I come back from transportating as well, I need to go mine some lead is probably the first port of call. I need to make some more ammo. But other than that, then it's just like upgrading the base, I think. And that's really the last like thing on my to-do list. Once I've got that done, once I've got some way to actually use explosives, I just make a buttload of short iron pipes. I've got all the gunpowder already. Go and like harvest a field's worth of grass. I can make all the explosives in the world, kill all the zombies with it, and be, you know, just happy for a change. No more worrying about the pathing. They come up, they get punched in the face, they fall down, they explode into itty bitty bits of pink mist, and I am a happy little chappy. I have my Dolce out. I'm running a bit low on sugar bars. I got plenty more back home, but 10 minutes should be enough for me to be able to get through most of what I'm trying to do here today. Make sure all my good tools are down the bottom. So I'm not selling anything by accident. No, we're good. Uh, you're just for buying, so I'll we'll use the... Watch my call. Grandpa's awesome sauce. Game. Put that down your gullet and feel a burn your tonsils off on the way through. Nice. Okay. Real quick, buy all of this off me, if you please. You're worth two grand. All of this is going to go... Look at all the dollar dudes pour in. Came in with only one stack of dollars, but it's leaving with more. Love to see it. That's one load you done, 30 grand out of that one. I'll go and uh, empty out the rest of my gyro to sell what I can to ya. And then I'll quickly just munch down on that calorie dense cheesecake because we all love a good little slice of cheesecake. One is probably bigger. When your eyes are bigger than your stomach, you're like, I wanna have like a six inch piece of cheesecake. Get halfway through, you're like, I'm probably gonna die doing this, but at least I'm gonna enjoy my own death. That's what we're after here. Sell all this stuff as well. Can't sell that last wrench as well because old mate's like, I've already got enough of them, but she is big ear. So I'll sell it to Jen or someone who actually appreciates all my hard work. There we go, another five grand. I've got $130,000 redos. What can I buy and why is it everything? Blade traps. Ooh. Gratitude. <coughs> Sorry. Friend. There we go. I've been meaning to get some blade traps this whole time. So yes, buddy, please buy you. You got some mods which I might quite like. Actually, I'll take that one. Getting us as cheap as it's ever going to be. Buy that one too. Grave digger mod already got one. Fall grip mod. I'll take that one. Anything that might come in handy for future zombie murder, I'm taking with me. I'll buy the steel arrows. I'm a little bit shy on them. I don't have to make some more. That's all the stuff I already sold. Bought some AP 9mm as well, just because it's bullets. And, ooh, speaking of 9mm, there's some there. How did I miss that the first time around? Silly, Josh. Could probably come and sell all the shotgun ammo to him too, given I didn't bring the shotgun with me. Should have sold the shotgun. I'll do that next time though. There will be another traded potato day. I thought for a second my tier six still axes in here. It's all right, so it's down there. And I panicked for a second. Real quick though, pistol, no um, parts. No, just to make sure I can find the stuff to make a dolcha that I take an opportunity. Lots of books and things that I've sold to him, but nothing with a closed book. Lots of other mods. What's in your secret stash, knackers? Bellows, need some for my forge back home. That's all I really need now. That's good. Now I have a fully outfitted third forge. Another robo sledge. And nothing else really in here. Okay. That's all right. Look, I've had worse days. Thank you very much. Thank you, Survivor. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. You want to get new merchandise daily because I sell you enough garbage that you can keep a whole bunch of stock out the back. And I'm going to filter it out whenever you say damn well please. Let's take off back into the sky. Let's go see our favorite girl in the world, Jen. Oh, I didn't check his vending machine. Ah, fuck it. What's going to be it? Like, I've got plenty of loot and candy. I'm a little bit shy on the better barter candy at the moment just because... Although I do need the area of effect candies now too. Must remember to check the vending machine, Josh, and buy the ones you wouldn't normally get. We're coming in a little hot to trade a Jenna. So I've got a minute left on my cheesecake though. So I could put her down and run inside and buy whatever I can, whatever she might have for me. That's actually a pretty good landing if I don't say so myself. Quickly inside, check your vending machine before I forget to... Jailbreakers, no yucca health bar. Absolutely. Always take the health bars whenever I can. I'll take the Ross Busters too, just in case. Nothing. Oh, actually, there is a coffee in there. And given I am slowly freezing to death, probably not a bad shout. Run right inside. 40 seconds remaining. How you doing, Jen? So, what are you buying today? Everything I possibly can. Coal, yes. Forged light, yes. Nitro powder, yes. Sand, yes. Short iron pipes, yes. Wood, sure. Why not? Grandpa's moonshine, less so. Uh, oil shale, take that as well. Take the springs. Um, what else can I get out of you? What else can I get? Iron, take that. Brass, take that. Lock picks, sure. Probably a bit expensive. Grandpa's learned with so. Absolutely. With three, uh, 10 seconds left on the goodness. Nothing in there. All right, quickly check your secret stash. Another bellows. Sniper, a book I haven't read. Thank you very much, Jenny girl. NVGs. AP ammo. Already got the pipe on the screen, so thank you very much. Shotgun parts. All right, my cheesecake is worn off. 
But I think we did pretty well there, actually. It was express buying. Wasn't really thinking, just buying everything I could. Handgun parts. Five. I need them. I'm not sure how much, how close that's going to get me to making. I needed 18. I think I had 11 in the box. So I'm like still too shy of making myself the tier 5 Dolce. Could scrap the tier 4 Dolce to get the parts that I need, I suppose. But it's always risky biscuits when you're doing that. Because what if I don't have enough? Then suddenly I have no Dolce anymore. She's also got two dart traps, which I'm kind of tempted to have because I could probably incorporate a lot of these traps into my base that I've got at the moment. I'll take the lead as well. I think that's going to be just about all she wrote for me. Oh, nails. I did, I did actually use, I uh, smelled down a lot of my nails. So I'll take you real quick. Double check. I haven't missed anything in here. Now nah, it's all looking pretty fine. Thanks all right. For the no. business. Stay safe out there. I will do my best, Jenny girl. All right, real quick. Is this the last book of this series? Yes, it bloody is. So what do I get for finishing Sniper? I get 20% chance to one shot. Wait, no, I'm still on. Okay, that's really confusing. It says Sniper, but this is all the stuff for mine. So let's check you. Craft a ghillie suit. The ultimate in Stealthy Boys. I probably will actually do that. And Bullcraft 762. Don't give a shit about that, but get my ghillie on. Absolutely. Jen, you've been a pleasure as always. I'm stacked up on lots of stuff from you. All right, cheers, big ears. I'll see you next time. We're off to go see other old mate all the way down the other way. Oh, I'm kind of close to my other base with all the vending machines inside it. No, Josh, don't get distracted. It's trade day and base building day. You can't go off gallivanting around finding vending machines, you fat piece of shit. Try and put your bloody addiction to candies down for two seconds. Stop deep throating gobstoppers and go do what you're supposed to do. I'm not far away from tradey, so I'm going to try and come in nice and low because this is also like... This other traded compound just here that I'm pretty sure is going to be a masquerade. So I'm going to get nice and low and buzz the tower a bit and see if I can see either the zombies spawn in or anything like that. Just kind of have a gander inside and see what's going on. Are you an alive trader or you're a dead trader? You've got the thing on top of the uh, top of the tower actually. So it's definitely... Oh, is the open sign on? Open sign is off. Okay, that's definitely a masquerade. I had to double check it though. Wait, <gasps> I've come back home. I went to the wrong fucking place. I was too busy just kind of like flying on autopilot. Literally, I flew back to my own house. Not my, oh, I wasn't supposed to go here yet. Oh, well, I've got some looting candy anyway. It's no real massive issue. So I just wasted like a couple of minutes of my life, I guess. Silly, Josh. Absolute pelican. You call yourself a pilot. You can't even tell your fucking cardinal directions. What's east, what's west, what's north, what's south. All you know how to do is put your foot all the way down and deep throat it in your fucking gob. All right, here we go. Finally made it to the trader I was supposed to be at like five minutes ago, but that's okay. Just like bonk you down outside like that. Now, I don't know if you're actually gonna have anything worthwhile for me. So what I'll do, I'll go like this, put all of you away. I'll take the dollar dues in case. I'll take you and you, because you never know what you might find inside. Close the door behind me. Check your vendor to make sure you might have something good. Any, oh, sugar butts, eye candy. Lots of health bars, nerd tats. So that's the shock area effect. I don't think... Would that affect the electric fences outside? It's not the ones that I need, but it's one of the ones I don't normally get, so I'm always kind of sus on it. What a you bitch, how you doing? Last time I came here, you were terrible, so which is why I'm calling you a bitch now. Got a bunch of like random like resources and stuff like that. Chili, you got a pistol? 600 bucks to scrap for a couple of pistol parts? I mean, I might have to do that. Some lockpicks, some forged steel, cement. Bullet tips as well. Look, not a whole lot of good stuff, but more than last time. So I might still come in and buy what I can off you. No more books for me. Some forged iron, some more steel arrows. I'm gonna yeah, okay. Have to ask you to leave. Yeah, okay. I'll do that in a second, buddy boy. Let me just quickly just chunk down on this delicious whipped creamy dessert like I'm freaking Leslie Nope in a business meeting or a political meeting even. Glue, take that. I've got plenty of money, so no need to worry. Nitro powder, sure. Duct tape, sure. Just kind of all the extra stuff that might come in handy down the track. I'll take it now so I'm not lacking later. Just making sure I didn't miss any ammo. I want to buy nine millimeters if I ever get the opportunity to. Nothing in there. Uh, what was in here again? Recipes, uh, volume six, steel arrows. I'll take those. I'll take the forged iron. Rifle parts, got plenty of those. I did buy that pistol specifically. That's right, do them. <laughs> specifically just for the um the the pistol parts. I'm gonna probably scrap you now, can't I? There we go. Get rid of you, some nine millimeter out of that, which is always nice. Alright, cool bananas, Jeffrey. Pleasure doing business with you. Let's get back home again. 
It's kind of late in the day, but I should still have time to go down and do some lead mining, get that on the go. I do need to make myself that 9mm. Then once I've done that, I've got that smelting away. I can probably go down underneath my little horde base, dig out a bit of a trench and start preparing. Because like I've got to make sure the bottom of that, the bottom of that bucket, the zombie bucket, is all going to be uh steel so i need lots of steel we're gonna be lots of iron need to go iron mining at some point as well oh there's just there's a lot to do there's a lot for me to do and i'm terrible at keeping track of what i'm actually doing at any given moment so you watch me forget it come holding that again and i've just got a pit of sand for the zombies to fall into and undermine my own bloody base as i'm flying back as i've told you before like this is the only time I, I get to like you know stop and actually let my brain try and come up with some sort of cohesive thought which is pretty unusual for me what I'm kind of thinking about at the moment is how I'm going to get this base to run. And because it is kind of like in front of my front door, I suppose, how I can kind of use this new design to be kind of like home security kind of thing. So if I'm doing something else and a wandering horde shows up at my door or whatever, how I can kind of go about making it into some sort of automatic defense system now i have an idea in my head being like you know maybe having some turrets that i can like hide behind some hatches at the bottom of the pit so like it can open up kill whoever's in there and then carry on my way i might even put some like automatic garage doors on this one. i've done all this before by the way i did all this in shibutal park like alpha 18 i was experimenting with this kind of stuff not really in alpha 19 because they didn't change the ai so i haven't really gone back to uh, woodle park much at all but in alpha 18 back when i was still annoyingly squeaky i definitely went and built like a bunch of different variations using the corridor as kind of like a template to see what i could kind of come up with so i have definitely done like explosive boxes with like hatches over the top before so i think i might implement some of those designs into this so that me when i'm running around i won't fall into the box but if some like random screamer zombie or something shows up they'll get sent down the bottom and then rather than them just being alive down there like a pet pet gel went the copper shock under the face i can have a turret down there that only ever turns on outside of horde nights to take care of any pests that might show up i have some ideas going i have some juicy goodness like flowing around upstairs <laughs> all that matters now is if i can survive long enough to actually implement them but i think if i focus on building this week i should be able to do it let's put all this stuff away real fast because i don't really have time to go through and sort it just this very second uh what do i need though i need rock busters i need you i need some coffees out of there i'm running low on coffee actually i have plenty of coffee here i might even grab some of you i'll grab it's like let's make 30 coffees because why not coffee could make the black stripe coffee but yeah nah mate let's make the normal coffee instead banging a bunch of you how long are you gonna take nine minutes no whackers here's like 10 sure enough cool bananas nice what do I need? What else do I need here? I need to need that and that. I need to get some gas, a jeep, and what well, I'm missing, the auger? I do need a better auger. I've only got a tier two at the moment. It's really kind of letting me down. A tier three or tier four would be so much better than that extra mod slot. Beggars can't be choosers though. And for most of my tools, I'm definitely begging. I don't know why I put the jeep down at all really because the lead mine is like just here. It's not too much of an issue for me. Quickly just reload you with all that gasoline goodness while I'm here as well, actually. Go like this and refuel you back up to max. Uh, you got anything inside? No, you don't. There you go. There's like half the fuel just in case it gets stuck somewhere and I forget to put some extra fuel inside. All the way down. Let's get going. This should be the lead mine, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm losing track of which mine is which. I mean, it was this mine of the one near traders, which was the like iron and nitrate mine. This is definitely the lead one. Yes, it is. It's all nice and laid out, nice and easy. So there's no, we're going to be no collapses up here, hopefully. Right. XP goggles on. I need coffees in my system. And then the, the rock buster's candy going. Get all the lead. Then it's just like some clay soil, which I have an abundance of. And then I can get like use my auger again to go and dig up that big trench. Lots of work to be done. Strap on a hard hat. Let's get cracking. So this is what I was talking about. How you can get like, with that new book that I found the other day, you have a chance to one hit the ore. So you can actually like slide through here really fucking quickly. Faster than you really could before. You don't have to work your way all the way down to the very bottom. Any one of these shots could one hit that ore. And you can just kind of, you know, heat up that knife in the microwave and then slice it through the margarine tub. Look at that. So good. It's looking so much better already. Oh god, that is a bit of a problem though, but because it does take away blocks so much faster than I'm used to, there is a much higher chance it caves in. Cave in, god damn it. There's the first layer of gas gone. I'm a little bit worried about how much of the ground I've just taken out of here. So real quick, I'll uh, dig up you, 
Make sure there's no lead underneath you. No, we're good. And just put in some sort of bracing. Because the further out I go, the less support there is to the roof. And the more the roof comes down, the more I'll get turned into a Woodle pancake. Which would be not particularly great for my chances of fulfilling my dreams of building that super cool base. All of you. Look at that though. We're flying through. Bonds at level 59. Already got like three and a half thousand lead. We are flying. That book was so valuable. It's all got so excited to find that book. It's such a valuable book to get. Oh, g'day lad. There's another part of the coal mine wrapped all the way around the outside. I'm still hopeful of one day finding. Oh, there we go. Can't like one. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I was about to say, I'm still hopeful of finding some nitrate in here. This is now a gunpowder mine. So not a gunpowder, it's a bullet mine. There's lead, there's nitrate, and there's fucking coal as well. Everything a growing boy needs to make himself a fucking arsenal. Yes, bloody please, I can't believe it. I was praying, I was hoping, we were wishing for that for such a long time, and there it bloody is. Oh, what a time to be a wordle. Look at the difference having the full minor series completed does compared to when I didn't have it before. So it took me like a whole can of, like a whole 10 minutes of Rockbusters candy to make 6,000 lead before. And now just to be like fucking about and dragging my dick of auger through this mine and one-shotting most of it, I'm already up to like almost 12,000 lead. So I modeled this lead this one time. I probably won't need to come back down here for a heck of a long time. And now I know that there's coal and uh, nitro powder down here as well. I don't have to go all the way back down to Trinity Potatoes to get some more. I can just come out here and make myself some more bullets. It does mean I'm going to have to use like a lot of that gunpowder I have sitting at home for uh, for bullet making instead of just the pipe bombs like I was hoping. Although, oh, I still want to make the pipe bombs instead because I can revamp that base to make it work so much better than have like the backup plan of the SMG spitting hot fury. Oh, we're really starting to come into some really good turf now. We've got a really good run in this series already. But when you start like specking up and everything and having all like the perks and stuff going, fuck, it's a good time. Look at that though. Look how much fucking lead I have now. I think there's actually a bit of, oh shit, a bit of a, um, a funny glitch that I might be taking advantage of a little bit inadvertently here. So on a horde night, I don't think seven days is coded to spawn screamers on horde night. So you don't end up having like screamers show up during the horde. So because the mod has kind of freaked out a little bit and the horde lights them out, my toes, my horde lights have actually stopped. I feel like despite how much heat I'm generating right now, it's not going to spawn a screamer because in the game's code, until it takes over the 51, it's still like, you know, the, the second half of the horde night. It's still, the horde is still active. I've just killed all the zombies. So I feel like I'm really coming up trumps on that one, which is pretty bloody lovely. I'm still cooking away though. I've got two and a half minutes left of my Rockbusters candy and I'm gonna run out of gas before I do. <laughs> I'm making so much lead. I'm never gonna have to go med medlining, lead mining ever again. This is gonna sort me out forever. There is the sun reset. I'm still down in my hole. What have I got? I've got 36 seconds left. I'll, I'll finish the end of this gas can or when the Rockbuster candy runs up, whichever one comes first. Just the obscene, this item's cactus. I could repair you. Well, I've still got 20 seconds to go. There we go. Man, I have burned through a lot, but I'm really curious to see how much lead I'm gonna come out with. I might be like 24,000. Now I know there's, I think there's still a glitch with the forge. If you smelt too, many, uh, too much material into a forge, it'll reset the POI. That's fine. I don't need to go with you anymore, actually. Let's go modify you, take you out of there and put you back into your home. How much do we have? How much do we have now? How much lead are we rocking? 6, 12. Jeez, I forgot how to count them. It's like a 6, 12, 18. And like another 5, it's like 23,000 lead from one trip. That is ridiculous. I don't even know how to get out of this fucking hole anymore. This place has expanded so bloody much. Oh, wait, is that it there? Was that my little exit hole up there? Yes, it was. Don't know how I can squeeze up there because some of the terrain has changed. Oh, it's everywhere now. What a time. Just pull up out the front. I will need that auger again in a second. We're going to bang upstairs. So this bit here, this is what we're going to get rid of. Probably from like this row here, all the way to that row there. I'll have to go and double check some of like my previous designs to see how wide I actually need to make it. 
Because I will be using, you may remember when I was using like uh, automatic drawbridges, not drawbridges, automatic roller doors as drawbridges. Because when they go up, they go up and around. And you can walk along the top there and use that as a trapdoor. Not only that, they then close really quickly. So my idea kind of is that I'll have them closed. And then if a zombie shows up or something, I'll have it trigger a motion sensor or something like that. That will snap it open. Zombies fall in. Turret eviscerates them up and down the bottom. And then oh, I never have to actually lift a finger to defend my own bloody house. Which would be pretty bloody lovely. I have done it before. I just remember how I actually did it back when. That is my steel one. That's got a crystal. So this is going to be my bullet one. Here you go. Here's 6,000 and 6,000. Just like, I don't know, do you want like an hour? I don't know how long you're going to take to smelt all that into you. But it's going to be a heckin' long fucking time. There you go. Oh, wait. What do you do? Uh, forge crafting speed. Do I need the, the bellows? I bought some bellows. I'm trying to steal them from another place. Dump. Bought some bellows specifically for this. There you are. Nice, nice, nice. Bang you in. Get you on the go. Is this where I need... Do I need a fourth forge? Do I make a fourth forge for bullet crafting? I don't think I do because I rarely need to actually do that. Bullet tips don't take very much, uh, very much time to make. All right. Enjoy the journey. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> That's, oh, man. That's going to be a real bloody time. Thank God. I'm so glad I found that book. That's so good. Now, unfortunately, like, because... So that one-shot thing only works on ores, not on, like, regular stones. So this is going to take a little bit longer to do. Not nearly quite as efficient as it may have once been. I kind of want to put it all the way up to a butt against this. So when they're, like, right up against the door, they'll fall in. But I guess if I make this, like... A bit of a shoot, like a bit of a walkway here. So they have to come up and around to get to the door here. If they do decide to go for the door, though, given how it's been going recently, I doubt they will. Uh, I might have to start digging, like, maybe, like, about here. Because at least I know that is, like, that's a guaranteed spot that I will need to dig. So I'll quickly dig down and just see what's going on underneath this. This is all part of the POI. So I'm hoping it's relatively easy going underneath the tarmac. Yep, just down to stone. That should be good. I'm also going to dig this very bloody deep as well. No, like, little, you know, just, like, pitiful little trenches like you're running some cables. This is going to be something of considerable notes. Maybe, like, three blocks down before I start, like, funneling it in to kind of get them all into the same kind of area. I think this may be, like, you know, ten blocks deep by the time I'm done with it. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a whole... A whole thing coming for me. I do have some 9mm ammo now from previous endeavours. Just trying not to panic, Josh. I was too busy, like, clearing up a lot of my life here, and they came up out of nowhere. So right, for all nice straight line like that, that'll be okay. I could go to the doll to get some penetration, but not really too concerned. As long as I just place my shots, it'll be all right. SMG is king. Oh, thank God. Thank God I saw them before they got there as well. I just happened to be looking in the right bloody direction. It turned over to day 51, and the game tried to take retribution from it. It's like you got through the horde, and you had a wonderful day down in the mines. Let me go full freaking Maleficent and try and ruin your freaking gnomey life. We good? We're fine? We're happy? Nice. Okay, I'll finish breaking up these fences, though. That's all I was doing. I just wanted the fences out of the way, and the game tried to dick me. It is getting reasonably late in the day, and I've kind of started the build, so at least now I know that I have to continue it there. I will have to go and um <laughs> watch some old Woodle videos and just kind of mash the arrow key to get through the first 20 seconds. Because even I, like at the time, I was a little bit squeaky, and I get that, and that's fine. I, I can't apologize for that, because it's on the internet forever now. But like... Even it hurts me a little bit now to listen to that intro. Be like, why was I doing that? It's just how I was. That's how I was back then. And at no point ever in this whole Jawoodle thing have I ever tried to pretend like I was being someone that I'm not. That's just what I was like back then. Um, you can now go back away into there. I'll pick you up another time, I promise. But what I need is you. Got lots of um bloody pistol parts now. 19, got one surplus. So what do I need for the vulture? 44 desert vulture. Steel, duct tape, polymers, springs. All of my steel is downstairs because I was using it for repairs. Might have to go grab some of that. But it was like uh, polymers and springs, was it? And something else? Springs, polymers over a lot of polymers. Got just enough though. Duct tape and steel. All right. Easy peasy. Is that enough duct tape for it? Yes, it is. Let's go get the steel. Let's make myself a new and improved Dolcha. I kind of want to make another compi bow as well. A lot of people are saying I should make the crossbow, but I've used the crossbow before. And yeah, it's good, but I've, I'm relying on the bow. It's fine. It's been doing lovely things for me. No use worrying about it just yet. You can go in there. You can go in there. That's a sellable as well. Um, if I do full on mods, 
You are full of mods. You'll be worth so much money. When, I, like, when I'm banging down awesome sauce and uh, selling candy, then that's going to be worth so much dollar we do. It's going to be a real good time. You go into there. You can go into there. Now, I have the stuff I need to really quickly go and make myself the desert vulture. Put you back on, please. Wear you. In fact, actually, if I wear my agility goggles, will that increase the specs of the Dultra or is the XP goggles that are going to do that for me? I mean, that increases my crafting time, but the times aren't really relevant to me. If I have an extra level of agility, which is going to give me an extra level here, and now 8 out of 10, is that going to give me... I'm going to go with that. I'm going to see if that's the way that's going to work for me. Because hopefully that will mean that this is going to get slightly better stats. Because it thinks, the game thinks I'm a slightly higher level of agility despite being not quite maxed out on pistols. Let's try that one. Five and a half minutes on you. What do I need for the compound bow? I need bow parts, polymers, leather, duct tape, springs. I just grab some leather. Need a whole lot more polymers though. Is that all I'm missing? Because I can probably go find some. Bow parts. Got more than enough, so it's just the polymers? Hmm. Can I make polymers? I don't think I can. No, but I can probably go find some. How many did I need again? Compound bow. 75 of them. That's actually quite a lot. All right, you know what? Tomorrow, tomorrow I will go. I'll break down a bunch of cars and stuff like that. I'll get myself a whole bunch of polymers. There was probably some of the traded potatoes that I just missed, and that's kind of why I wanted to buy everything that I could just for this exact situation. But I'm going to, just for my own peace of mind, say that Trady didn't have any of them. But tomorrow, I'll go and make myself the new compound bow. I'll have to go and get some more polymers and stuff as well. I'll also continue my construction work to upgrade that horde base because I need that to be up and about to make myself as many um well, to make myself as many use as uh of uh, pipe bombs as I possibly can grab some of you what else goes into it uh it's like grass and short iron pipes all right grab you got some more in here I'm pretty sure yes I do nice got some grass in here and some more grass left over in there as well Let's, come, let's get some of you going now, because why bloody not? Pipe bomb, make... How many? 81? Like, even 81 bombs, if it's like the base is tuned to work with it, that could be more than enough to get me through a horde. Like, if I went into, like, the most amount of zombies possible in that bucket before I explode them all, that could really work out well for me. That's why I wanted to make the, the, the bucket as deep as possible, so that they don't get, like, kind of blown up and out if they don't actually die. So 81 bombs coming through there for not a lot of gunpowder expenditure either. That's really bloody good. But I'll have to come back, finish those pipe bombs, finish my bomb hole. That's a weird expression. And also find myself the new compound crossbow in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you are liked, make sure to like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.